Hello and welcome back to the final episode of my Clouds of Darkness series. Now you might wonder where I am. I am in the Wildy Craft dimension. And it's actually the second day I am here. Yesterday I did a lot of recording here to get to the point where I'm at. But I decided that it was way too boring. I wanted the last episode to be, you know, fun and exciting. So I decided to just give you a recap on what we did up to this point in this dimension and the quests. And I'm going to overlay clips here and there from all the things that I recorded. Um, but today we are going to kill two bosses. Um, first of all, the last one in this quest book. And then I still want to kill that ore boss that I promised. And I think that's a lot better than just showing you these quests. Because even though this dimension is actually really cool, this Wildycraft dimension. Um, it's very dangerous. It has a bunch of different biomes and blocks. But everything here is out to kill you. There's, I think, like, besides camels and a few other mobs, everything here is out to kill you. <laughs> so, how did this all start? Um, we had the page to go to the Wildycraft Island. And there is a cobweb tunnel that, um, I after I explored the tower, which just had a few chests and a lot of spiders... But then I found this tower go, uh, this this um, tunnel with cobwebs going down into the ground, and that's where the actual portal is. And then we needed to, um, when we came here, it said dig up out of the ground and fly north. So right here is where that portal is, and I dug up into the ocean and then came up, and then I just kept flying north. And I was actually worried that there is nothing because I had to fly, I think, 1,800 blocks. To actually get here this is where i landed and this is where we are now and all the quests leading up to this we uh finished in this area right here in this little spot and yeah so first we needed to get a bunch of this cobblestone and then we needed to get the soil down there and after the soil all these opened up and i'm like oh my goodness that's a lot of stuff to do but first you know it was just kill one werewolf which um, it's these guys right here below me in those black shirts. They're actually werewolves. They turn into werewolves at night or if you attack them. We've seen those before. And then it just kept going. You know, kill 10 of this, kill 10 of that, and so on and so on. And actually, the ghouls right here, we killed a bunch of them. Um, those are the guys in right here underneath me. The one that's looking like a white zombie. That's a ghoul. And we did not get any credits for these kills, so I actually had to use HQM edit and complete this one quest by hand. All the other ones worked, but the ghoul. And then we need to kill lesser demons, imps, black demons, dark wizards, crawling hands. And from this one on, the crawling hands is where we went into one of these buildings here. You guys see them? They're big stone brick structures. And there's one right underneath me here. Or I should say, what's left of it. Because there is this one mob, um, and there is none anymore because I destroyed the spawners, and they are called, let me see here real quick, what is their name? These guys right here, Aberrant Spectres. These guys are horrible. They are horrible. When you get to like within 20 blocks of them, they give you nausea, and they just keep bouncing you around um, with some kind of an invisible ranged attack. So it's terrible. Um, I did end up, you know, killing enough of them, and then I immediately destroyed all the spawners here. And whenever I was done with the mob, I also destroyed the spawners. Or I actually picked some of them up, and let me see if I can find one around me here. Oops. Um, I placed some of them up in the trees here with the dolly. Um, well, I'm overlaying some screenshots, uh, some 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 clips from it so you can see just to get the, the spawn chance up um, you know so I brought them away from the other mobs so I get a higher spawn chance and so on and then after that you know gargoyles necreals and abyssal demons and now we have a quest called the wildy world where we need to kill a Dagonoth mother well I had no idea what to do okay I it's it's very hard to find information about it but i found out that apparently there is some lighthouse looking building in the snow biomes of this wildy craft dimension 
And that is when the exploring started. So I flew around everywhere here and you guys see I always hugged the ocean. Um, that's just something I always do and I explored this entire island area here. Man, that's quite big, you know, that's like close to 3,000 blocks across here. And while I couldn't find anything, I'm like, well, this sucks. And then I just set out, um, explored 2,500 blocks or so west, um, south we already had. And then I went up here diagonally and then I actually found some islands here and got happy, but there was nothing. And then I went all the way up north for the same distance, didn't find anything. And then I almost gave up. I'm like, eh, let's go. One more. And I flew out this way and then I found a big mushroom island. And then I kept going a little further and then I finally hit mainland again. I'm like, cool. Well, then this entire stretch here is the same biome over and over. And I'm like, oh my god, is this ever going to change? And then look what I found. I finally found a snow biome. And there is the tower. And when I got to the tower... It finally showed me the boss's name. So let's go there real quick. I set a map over uh, a waypoint over here. And it's going to take a second. So this is the, the structure you're looking for um, right here. And when we go down, I did go down a little bit. Um, then the name of the boss shows up. All right. So, well, this is not all what it is. Um, this boss apparently, you know, has some crazy... Um, abilities it constantly changes and i'm not sure what that's going to look like or what it what it's going to be um has i guess a color on its back and depending on the color that boss has on its back you can only do damage to it um via certain uh attacks so when it's red you can only damage it with fire spells blue water spells white air spells brown earth when it's green ranged attacks and when it's orange melee attacks and it also apparently hits like a Mack truck. So, oh, I forgot to mention, by the way, these one mobs here. Let me see. Was it the blood veld? Gargoyle? No, the abyssal demons. Yes, that's the ones. I'm pretty, yes. I'm, I think it's those guys. It, it, it's something crawly. Um, and they teleport and they got me down to one heart twice. So there is mobs that even um, have some kind of armor penetration. And I read a lot of horror stories about this boss that we're about to fight. But I think I'm ready. So now I was looking. I'm like, well, how are we going to do fire spells and so on? And I found a bunch of these staffs from mobs. Okay, they drop a ton of stuff, these mobs. Armor, weapons, ruins, and all kinds of stuff. I mean, there's really, really a lot of loot out here. So, and then I looked into these staffs. Now, when you, when you fight around here, you get not even this these regular staffs here and then i looked into you know how do you use them i have no idea how to use them i equipped them and right click left click nothing happened um and then i saw well let's like upgrade them maybe for a player to use them you need to upgrade them so I upgraded each one of them with two blaze rods they're all the same recipe and then you can whoops and then you can go even one higher with the diamonds and this to make it a mystic earth staff well i still couldn't figure out how to do that right and then I saw in some, oh, you see the boss bar, Daganuth Mother. And then I saw in a video from somebody else that they had these runes in their inventory. And that's how it works. When you have, let's say, the fire rune. Let me just put them in order so I know which ones there are. I want, yeah, ice is the for fire, uh, water spells. So when you have the fire rune, so let me take this mystic fire staff. Let's drink a night vision potion real quick and find a mob. I don't need you anymore. Um, any mob? There we go. There's a mob. So when you use this and you have these runes, and then you... Oh! What are you? You're not the mother, right? Yes! Oh my god, the boss is right here! Holy shnikes! I thought it's down in the basement! Wow, got me down to two hearts! So, well, I guess we get started! <laughs> So white is air spells, um, that's this one here, and then you just charge it up, and when you let go, it's gonna shoot that way, attack it, ooh, did a lot of damage, and you see it used five runes. Sweet! Well, let's fight the thing, I thought it was down, oh, I forgot, yes, that the, the auto repair does some kind of an issue, you see how I can barely shoot, ooh, where are you going? Big knockback, alright, now it's switch to, is that red or brown? That looks like brown to me. 
All right, I think that did something. No, it didn't. So that maybe be fire. Yes, it's fire. Okay, and now green is ah. ranged attacks. We already lost a few lives, so last stand for the win. All right, now it's white again. So air. I did not expect. I thought we need to go down in the basement. Uh, we'll check in the basement afterwards if maybe there's something else. I thought white is air spells. Why is it not doing any damage? Or maybe it is uh, water. Did that do anything? No? Well, what's going on here? Do some damage. Maybe it's earth. I have the colors right next to me, but apparently it's not true. All right, now what is this? It's blue, so now we need ice or water. All right, it doesn't do any damage anymore. Am I too far away, buddy? What is happening? The dimension is really cool, guys. If you haven't been out here, I recommend you trying it out. Um, and my computer didn't crash once. Sometimes the client hangs because there's just so much. Oh, this might be melee orange. Let's see. Come here. Oh, we got still 168 chances to kill the thing. All right. You know what? I have to take off this auto repair thing for a bit because these staffs, you know, they keep repairing. I'm not doing any damage. What a pain in the butt. Oh, there's a little bit with the fire. Each changing colors. The first few attacks were pretty good. Imagine you don't have last stand. Whoa, I just saw. All right, blue should be water spells. Hmm. Now it's green, that means ranged. That did something. Come on, let me get you. Alright, now it's brown again, which should be earth. Alright, okay. And now that is orange, that means melee. Come here. Yay, we did it. Sweet! Well, I definitely want to go down in the space room real quick because... I read... Oh my god, so slow. What? See, there's another Dagonuth mother. Um, we got five blue charms. You know what? Was this maybe just one of the helpers? No, we got. Let's see if we got. Yes, we did complete it. All right. Sweet. But let's go down. There's another one of these towers. Which one was the one I came from? Oh my, there's them everywhere. Oh, what is this structure? There's so many cool structures out here, guys. Um, Like I said. Um, it's very stable. It's, it seems to be very well, um, you know, coded. There is, there's no issues. This is cool. What is this? Like a, a little village. I haven't seen one. And every biome has different things out here. All right. This is just an ender chest. Oh, wow. This is neat. Like a little storage room. Very cool. So I'm... Really? <laughs> ah... Let's just take the book out and go back to that tower. And I want to go down real quick. I want to see what this basement looks like. Because, yeah, there's another mother. So I'm guessing there's multiple ones in every tower or something. This guy here is friendly. Let's put the bow on a second. And I didn't even take this right here. I brought this big potion to fight. But maybe we'll use it against the ore boss. And let's see. Yeah, this is the entry. I haven't been down here. I don't know what is going on. I, I, I heard there are spawners down here with like little helpers and um, they recommend you oh my they recommend you um, killing those spawners I, I don't want to pick any other stuff up no 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 leave me alone ah I need a pick here to get in so this is whoa yeah, and the mother is gonna spawn. Like these are, 
these are the helpers that are usually in here and they say destroy all these spawners yeah and there's the mother right there the Dagonuth mother cool but we fought it once so I'd say we get out of here go back home and well let me let me go ahead and crank out these quests real quick meaning let me turn and get all these bags real quick where did I put my charm of repair there we go and I'm gonna put away these staffs again and then we'll open all these bags and check out what's inside of them it doesn't let me turn in that last quest and I'm guessing it's because it wants to give us 127 very lucky blocks so that's fine the sword right here I just looked it up is 89 attack damage and probably 10 more epic bags but it doesn't matter let's just open up these guys real quick and see if we get something really neat that we haven't gotten before seriously these blocks need to go away Ah, oh, the pain in the butt. Get all this out of here. Ooh, Ares Rage. Let's see what this is about. Oh, cute. <laughs> empty Infernal Tear. What are you used for? An empty Infernal Tear. Right clicking it absorbs the nominant inventory item. Currently holds nothing. Okay. And Ring of Stone, defense plus 15. What do we have? Defense plus 15. Serpent Staff. All that nasty stuff from the Kraken Spit. Throw at your enemies. I think we played around with this before. Magic Bane. Block of Manilium. Melee damage plus 20. More potions, more potions. And a Twilight Cloak. It, that's the one that makes you invisible at night. Yeah, okay. So no, let's just get rid of this stuff and put the rest in here. All right, so now as our last thing we're going to do in this series is take a look at this boss from um, Fake Ores. And now I don't know what this is, the Ore Boss Energy Star. We got this out of a chest before. And I... Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can find out real quick what this is about. All right, this fake boss energy star from the only information I could find, I guess it's this mod's flint and steel. It's to light the portal. Um, when you make the portal to come into this dimension right here with this cooked obsidian or whatever. Um, so I don't think it has anything to do with the actual boss. And I came to the fake ore dimension. I figured why not fight the boss in his own home? And I don't even know how to use this, but I'm guessing that all you do is right click. Let's see what happens and if we get owned. Oh my god, he looks cool. That is awesome. Oh, oh don't take too much fall damage, okay? Alright, let's see what's going on. Oh, you know what? Last boss, and we, we are going to take this potion. We've been holding on to this forever. Where is it? Where'd you go? Ah... Oh. I left it in the house. Dang it! <laughs> I brought this. Um, night vision, water breathing strength. Let's use this guy at least. Ah, oh, that's too bad. I when I just emptied my inventory from all the gobbledygook. He looks cool. Oh man, he has a lot of hit points, huh? Oh, okay. Apparently, I didn't hit him before. Let's get up close and personal. Ow. Come here, buddy. Oh, that was it. Ah, another one of these stars. So possibly, maybe this mod is supposed to... You kill one of these bosses? Where you get all the fake ores? And then you kill the boss? And then you can go into this dimension and continue? I'm guessing that's how progression is supposed to work. But yeah, cool. So we saw this guy. I mean, with the sword, everybody's kind of a pansy when you get close up to them. But we got it done. And this brings us to the end of the series. I I had a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately, the, the last two quest chains were a little boring. Um, but the mod pack maker did say that, um, you know, they, they're not fully implemented yet. But I'm kind of wondering if, if there's going to be any more updates because there haven't been any in a long time to this mod pack. 
But I, other than that, I had a lot of fun, even with the restart and building the space, which I still think it looks really cool. I had a lot of fun building it uh, with you guys on the live stream and so on. I hope you guys enjoyed the series, and I'm glad that we got to finish it, just like I finished the Crafting Paradise series, and I hope that this is uh, a trend, that we can always finish all the quests. Um, I think, uh, where is it? Uh, right here. When you look through all the quests are green, everything 100% completed, and the one unclaimed reward is the one that we can't get from there. But anyways, thank you very much for watching, for subscribing to the channel if you did, if you found me because of this series, um, liking the videos and so on. And in case you're wondering, the next series after this has already begun. Um, that's my Material Energy 4 Hypercube series, which I am now going to do, you know, full time, at least two episodes a week, hopefully three. That's my goal, but sometimes I might only get out two and I'm having a lot of fun in that series. And it's also uh, from Parcel31U, which, you know, he has made many mod packs before. So we know that they're thought out all the way till the end. Um, and I hope that you guys join me over there and watch those videos and have fun with me. Um, we already had some really good episodes with crazy um, spatial storage drives, places. Um, anyways, thank you very much for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next series. Take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.